Bored by the umpteenth new smart plug from CES 2024? Something really interesting happened at this year's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Stick around and find out what this new smart home as a service is all about. A new startup revealed its innovative strategy for revolutionizing the DIY smart home market, bringing the benefits of traditional luxury home automation systems to the mass market. Not a new product category or gadget, but an entirely new kind of smart home service was unveiled and demonstrated. Oliver IQ is a new platform that will offer smart home as a service to consumers from service providers. That's a mouthful, so I'll try and break it down to the essential bits. Not a product, but there is some hardware involved. This means consumers will pay a monthly fee. Hold on, don't run away just yet. We all hate subscriptions, but we also know there's no such thing as a free lunch. Oliver IQ is not your typical startup. It's not a bunch of college kids who have dreamed up what they think is a hot new idea. It's also not a cadre of disgruntled workers from a big tech company that think they know better than their managers after actually only a year or two on the job. Oliver IQ is a seasoned, that's code for middle-aged, group of smart home experts that co-founded Control4, a home automation company that shook up the luxury home automation market by expanding the availability of complete smart home systems. As the Oliver IQ execs tell it, they see the same kind of opportunity to disrupt the consumer DIY smart home market. Oliver IQ wants to simplify the complexity. That sounds good, like motherhood and apple pie, but what does it really mean? Oliver IQ is focused on the mass market consumer smart home. That's the area dominated by Amazon Alexa, Google Home, Apple HomeKit, and Samsung SmartThings systems, plus a ton of familiar and unfamiliar device manufacturers. It is a do-it-yourself or DIY consumer market, but it is not the hacker, hobbyist, geek enthusiasts that often dominate DIY blogs, podcasts, and YouTube videos. The buyers are us consumers, and we purchase our own gear from retail shops, big box chain stores, and online e-commerce sites like Amazon, Walmart, and others. The vast majority of DIY consumers install and set up the product themselves with varying degrees of success. Many of us acquire a hodgepodge of smart home products. The popular iPhone slogan, there's an app for that, has gotten out of hand. We've ended up with a jumble of different smart home device apps that each control a single product. The systems from Amazon, Google, Apple, and Samsung that attempt to solve that confusion are too restrictive and limited in their features. That's what Oliver IQ aims to solve. They will provide a single app of their own that can communicate with the vast majority of smart home products from all major manufacturers. Even more significant, for a monthly subscription fee, Oliver IQ will provide unlimited technical support to keep everything running and solve problems when they don't. Don't miss out. Get more professional smart home secrets with my free email newsletter. Go to difm.us forward slash newsletter or use the QR code. Oliver IQ is focused on what happens after you buy and install smart home products yourself. They want to be the security blanket, both literally and figuratively, to keep your smart home working and to help you when things go wrong. By now, you're probably wondering, what exactly is this Oliver IQ thing? Is it hardware? Is it software? Is it tech support? Is it a service? In a word, yes. Oliver IQ has not revealed all the details of what they are providing. The key parts of the Oliver IQ smart home as a service are the following. First, a physical device in the customer's home that communicates with all the existing installed smart home devices. This will either be a hardware product from Oliver IQ 
they hint that it will cost under $100, or other hardware products in the consumer's home incorporating this technology. Think Wi-Fi gear, routers, or other smart home products from companies or service providers partnering with Oliver IQ. Specifics are not clear, but one can assume this hardware hub will communicate with our home network using Ethernet or Wi-Fi and also have multiple wireless device interfaces such as Bluetooth, Z-Wave, Zigbee, Thread, and possibly others. Second, a smartphone app from Oliver IQ or private labeled by one of their partners will provide a single point of control for operating all the smart home devices interactively and creating automated routines. Oliver IQ calls these experiences. They previewed experiences for welcome home, security monitoring and alerts, wake up, movie night, vacation mode, water leak detection and shutoff, and unattended on-site service access. The details on these are shown in a flashy marketing video on their website. I'll put a link to it in the description below this video. Third, a telephone number for direct live technical support that can include the technician establishing, with permission, a remote connection to our home systems to examine and manipulate all the smart home devices and resolve the problem. Oliver IQ will work with both Amazon Echo and Google Home smart speakers, but not Apple HomePods, for voice control of everything in our home. Overwhelmed with smart home options, I offer private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions to help you design your own smart home. We'll work together to find the best products and systems for you, and I'll answer all your questions. Use the link on the screen and make your smart home a reality. So how can you sign up your parents, grandparents, or perhaps even yourself? I'm serious, even if this doesn't sound like something we need ourselves, having been drafted one too many times as an unpaid tech support expert on call 24 hours a day for parents or in-laws, if the price is right, I'd be willing to give it a try. Delivery starting the end of June or earlier if they stay on schedule. But consumers and dealers need not apply. Oliver IQ will not be selling directly to consumers. They will not be working with dealers or custom integrators either. So all you control for dealers out there, no Oliver IQ for you. Their go-to-market strategy is very different from consumer and traditional smart home product manufacturers. Oliver IQ plans to reach consumers through partnerships with large companies, including global and national internet service providers such as Comcast, Spectrum, AT&T, and Cox Communications. Home Improvement Center retailers, such as Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, and others. Security providers, such as ADT, Brinks, and large home builders. Please note, Oliver IQ has not disclosed the names of actual partners. The company names I just mentioned are only examples in these areas that could be potential Oliver IQ partners. Are you enjoying this video? Click the like button to reward yourself. By clicking on like for this video, you tell YouTube what content to show you. So help me help you and click that like button now. What do I think? Boy, I've got a lot of thoughts. I applaud Oliver IQ for their desire to fix these problems in the mass market smart home. I know it is trite to say, but the devil is in the details. I do have some questions. As currently described, Oliver IQ does not support Apple's Siri voice assistant home pods and does not support HomeKit. That means anyone with an Apple-centric smart home is left out. Can they really ignore the entire Apple market? Oliver IQ does not currently plan to support the new Matter standard. Matter, by design, is an industry effort to create compatibility across the board between all smart devices. Matter solves some of the same problems Oliver IQ is tackling, but from an industry-wide perspective rather than a single company walled garden. 
I would like to see Oliver IQ incorporate matter into their solution and clarify why matter alone does not supersede what they are doing. Providing live technical support has the potential to be the real blockbuster feature. I look forward to understanding the service hours. Will I be able to call for help anytime, day or night, or will there be limitations? How will this tech support be accomplished? Is Oliver IQ staffing call centers with trained engineers? Or will the already overburdened and understaffed call centers and my least favorite cable or internet companies be expected to carry the load? Thank you so much for watching this video. You are awesome. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, toggle that subscribe button, automate the bell icon, and then get started on your next smart home project. Many smart home devices use wireless networks based on Z-Wave, Zigbee, and other opaque systems. Troubleshooting problems with devices on these networks is challenging, even for professional dealers and installers. I'm skeptical as to how this can be done successfully. The elephant in the room can't be overlooked. Consumers hate their cable companies and internet service providers. They're the last company anyone wants to call for help. They are ranked lower than used car dealers in customer satisfaction surveys. Is that going to work? So what do you think? Would you subscribe to a monthly service for your smart home? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below this video. Selling subscription services to consumers for tech support is still largely unproven. Consumers are more comfortable with pay-as-you-go for tech support. This could be a much harder sell than Oliver IQ anticipates. Share of wallet is a real concern. Many households don't have room to add yet another subscription. Hopefully, when the Oliver IQ service launches later this year, more information will be available on the specifics of what is included, how everything is going to work, and why we should be willing to pay for it. One of the problems Oliver IQ is trying to solve is the difficulty of using many smart home products. Designing apps to be both easy to use and useful isn't easy. I recently had a great discussion with a user interface expert on why many smart home apps suck. Watch this video next and see what he recommends.